Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see malaria. Malaria is a disease caused by Plasmodium falciparium and it has five types. What are the signs and symptoms of malaria? We have fever. We have headache. We have joint pain. We have general general body weakness. Conversion. Hypoglycemia. Hepatosplenomegaly. This is enlargement of the spleen and the liver. We have chills. If someone comes with all these signs and symptoms, you what are the investigations which you are supposed to do to rule out other infections to make sure that this one is malaria? You are going to do CBC, complete blood count. You are going to do BS. For MPs, we are going to do RDT, random M RDT, malaria random diagnostic test. You are going to do you are going to do urine analysis, the vitals which you are going to take. You are going to take the temperature, pulse rate, you are going to take the respiratory rate and then you are going to take the blood pressure. You are also going to take the saturation, that is SpO2. Now after investigating all these things, the RDT, RDT positive BS greater than 20 MPC plus medical complication medical complication like hypoglycemia Conversion, organ enlargement. To categorize that the person is having complicated malaria or severe malaria, RDT should be positive, the BS should be greater than 20 MPC. In some cases, the RDT will be negative, but the BS will be greater than 20 MPC plus the medical complication will not make it to be complicated like hypoglycemia, convulsion, organ enlargement then in the urine you will also see some abnormalities in the urine now how do we manage? we are going to see the treatment which we use for managing severe Malaria or complicated malaria. Number one, we have IV artesunate. Artesunate. Even per kilogram body weight. Anyone who is less than 20 kilogram, we give 3 milligram per kilogram body weight. And then someone who is 
greater than 20 kilogram we give 2.4 milligram per kilogram body weight now if you do not if you are not able to access the line here you can give i am a tesonate so i am a tesonate and iv a tesonate the difference is only in dilution in i am a tesonate you put 1 mL of bicarbonate and then 2 mL of sodium sodium chloride so the dialen is 3 so in IV the dialen is 6 that is the only difference if you don't have IV or IM attestinate what do you do we give the alternative that is uh, IV quinine An IV quinine is given 10 mg per kilogram body weight. So, and it is given in dextrose. Dextrose, 5%. 10 mL per kilogram body weight. Now, if you have 200 mg, 200 mL, if you have calculated 200 mg of quinine, you are going to put in 200 mL of D5%. So, that is how we give IV quinine. The dextrose is to prevent the hypoglycemic side effects. More details you can check on my video on how to give and dilute IV quinine. If you don't have IV quinine, also you can give the alternative a uh, IM a teme tha. So now, if you are in a lower facility like the refer like the health centers where you don't have an advanced care of the patient. So, what you are going to do, you are going to refer this patient. Refer, and the pre-referral treatment is you refer and you give the pre-referral treatment. And the pre-referral treatment is rectal attestinate. Attestinate and if a testonate is not there, you give IV quinine. In recap, we looked at malaria as a disease caused by plasmodium falciparium, sign and symptom, fever, headache, joint pain, general body weakness, conversion, hypoglycemia, hepatosplenomegaly, chills. And then the investigation, we said we do RDT, MRDT, we do CBC, BS, urinalysis. And then the vital signs which you are supposed to take uh, uh, temperature, pass rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and then the SpO2. And then to be classified that this one is severe malaria or complicated malaria, you need to have positive RDT. But BS also greater than MP20 seen and then plus medical complications like hypoglycemia, convulsion, organ enlargement or failure. Now, in the management, we said we give IV attestinate. Attestinate is given 12 hourly for the first 24 hours and then once a day and then we give IV quinine. That is 10 mg per kilogram body weight in every 8 hours, one day, and then we shift to oral, anti-malarious. And then we said if the IV attestinate is not there, or you cannot access the line, you 
give I am a tessonate and dilution also you can check on other video of mine and then we said if you cannot manage the patient in a lower facility you give the pre-referral treatment that is rectal attestinate and if a rectal attestinate is not there you give IV quinine and then you refer the patient so that is all thank you for watching and see you in the next one